later views an object relation theory. So for the table of contents, first we have the introduction to the theorist, Margaret Schoenberger Mahler, and then Mahler's view on object relation. And then the next one is the three major developmental stages, normal autism, normal symbiosis, and the separation, individuation. We also have the four sub-stages of uh, separation, individuation, the differentiation, practicing, reproachment, and libidinal object, constancy. So before time we proceed sa um, view ni Mahler about sa object relations, uh, mag-review muna tayo tungkol sa object relations theory of Melanie Klein. So it was built on careful observations of young children. So in contrast to Freud, who emphasized the first four to six years of life, Klein stressed the importance of the first four to six months after birth. So Melanie Klein insisted that the infant's drives, the hunger, sex, and so forth are directed to an object, a breast, a penis, a vagina, and so on. So according to Klein, the child's relation to the breast is uh, fundamental and serves as a prototype for later relations to whole, whole objects, such as a mother and father. So the very early tendencies of infants to relate to partial objects gives their experiences an unrealistic fantasy like quality that uh, affects all later interpersonal relations. So thus, Klein's idea tend to shift the focus of psychoanalytic theory from uh, organically based stages of development to the role of early fantasy in the formation of interpersonal relationships. Good day everyone, I am Abel Galosa from BSP2A and today I am going to discuss the later views on object relation theorist. This is a view of Margaret Schoenberger Mahler. So first and foremost, allow me to introduce the theorist. So Margaret Schoenberger Mahler was a uh, 20th century psychiatrist who studied children's development and developed the theories of individuation and separation. For her professional life, uh, Margaret Muller was born in Hungary on May 10, 19, 1897. Rather. She became interested in psychoanalysis as a teen when she met Sandor Ferenczi. She studied medicine at the University of Budapest beginning in 1917 before transferring to the University of Jena in Germany to study pediatrics. She graduated in 1922 and settled in Vienna, Austria. She began training in psychoanalysis in 1926. So after several years of working with children, Mahler was certified as an analyst in 1933. And then she married Paul Mahler in 1936 and the couple fled Austria as the Nazis rose to power, settling in Britain before moving to New York in 1938. She began a private practice and worked with experts such as Dr. Benjamin Spock. Mahler taught child therapy and was a member of the New York Psychoanalytic Society and the Institute of Human Development. She also became heavily involved in research directed toward pediatric mental health. She taught at Columbia University between 1941 and 1955 and she served as a clinical professor of psychiatry at the Albert Einstein College of Medical Medicine until 1974. Then Mahler spent most of her career working with psychologically impaired children. She was among the first psychologists to specialize in the treatment of psychotic children. Her work in this area led to the book of uh, The Psychological Birth of the Human Infant, Symbiosis and Individuation. So in addition, she co-founded the Master's Children Center in New York with her colleague Manuel Ferrer. It was from here that uh, Mahler created and taught the tripartite treatment model. It is a therapeutic approach involving the children and the mother. Mahler received several awards for her work throughout her career, including the Barnard College Highest Honor, the Barnard Medal of Distinction in 1980. And then in 1985, Mahler passed away in New York City.
So now, let's proceed to the Mahler's view on uh, object relation theory. So first, uh, Mahler is concerned with the infant's struggle to gain autonomy and a sense of self. So dito, uh, word si Mahler na... Um, na makakuha ng uh, uh, autonomy or sabihin natin uh, sense of uh, independence and individualism yung baby at saka sense of self ito na yung perception kung saan na kikilala natin yung characteristics na nagde-define sa atin so also um, Mahler is concerned with the first three years of life a time when a child gradually surrenders a security for autonomy so ito na yung time na uh, when a child is uh, progressively gives up the support that na nakukuha niya sa, mod sa mother niya in exchange for uh, individuality or para magkaroon siya ng sense of self. So, in this, sabi ni Mahler, ang psychological birth daw, uh, it begins during the first weeks of postnatal life and continues for the next three years or, or so. So, dito naman, na uh, the child distinguishes, dito yung part na the child distinguishes um, himself or herself from her, his or her, own, or her own caregiver, which is yung mother niya. So, ito na yung activity na naglilid para magkaroon sila ng sense of of uh, self-identity. So, sabi ni Mahler na sense of self-identity is uh, na-achieve when child becomes um, an individual separate from her, his or her own caregiver. So, I think um, parang ang primary parang primary na factor na na-identify natin yung uh, self uh, yun yung uh, sense of self natin is uh, through physical self. Ito yung pangunahing uh, um, identity na na-identify natin sa atin. So, physical self. Ito yung nagsisimula sa ating katawan. With our own hands, feet, yung na-feel natin yung touching, yung moving, uh, yung pagtingin natin sa kanila. So, as an infant, um, curious tayo kung how this works, kung paano ba gamitin ng mga kamay natin, paano ba gamitin ng mga paa, uh, paano ba ito gumagana. Kaya yan, dahan-dahan na natin na igagalaw yung mga body parts natin during that stage. So, next, um, Mahler also believe uh, that the children has sense of, uh, children's sense of uh, identity rest on three step relationship. So, tatlo yan. Ang unang step is um, infant have basic needs cared for by their mother. Ito na yung um, nangangailangan sila ng warmth, ng affection na, na ibibigay ng mother nila. Dito na rin nagsistart yung encouragement. Dito na rin nagsistart yung sense of responsibility from their mother. So, ito dito um, na ibibigay ng, ma ng mother yung needs ng baby. Yun yung first step. So, for the second step, they develop a safe symbiotic relationship with an all-powerful mother. So, dito sa second step, um, ang mother is magkakaroon ng bond sa kanyang baby through the loving and protective feelings na, ina na, na ibibigay ni mother kay baby. So, dito na, na-feel na baby na um, safe siya, kaya nagkakaroon ng connection between two, between sa kanilang dalawa. So, dito sa pangalawa, dual na sila. As in, as one yung uh, relationship nilang dalawa. So, for the third step, they emerge from their mother's protective circle uh, and establish their separate individuality. So, dito na nagsistart yung uh, they break off from their mother's uh, protective sphere and to form yung... Um, to form their, their own identity para makilala na nila yung sense of self nila. So, sa first stage, si mother ang nagbibigay ng care sa baby, na need ng baby. Sa pangalawang stage, um, dual silang dalawa kasi meron silang uh, symbiotic relationship. And sa pangatlo, is unti-unti nang um, nagkakaroon ng sense of identity yung baby kaya unti-unti nang uh, nawawala yung uh, um, safe symbiotic relationship na sinasabi nila. So, punta tayo sa three major developmental stages. First one is the 
normal autism. It is the first major developmental stage which lasts from birth to three or four weeks of age. So, um, a newborn infant satisfies various needs within all the powerful protective orbit of a mother's care. Yan yung sinasabi kanina na, um, na nasasatisfy yung various needs ng baby na nanggagaling sa mother nila. So, ginamit ni uh, Mahler yung uh, um, analogy ni Freud about sa psychological bird Um, ginawa niyang example is yung unhatched uh, bird egg na unhatched bird egg so kasi yung unhatched bird egg nasasatisfy yung needs nila uh, in that value in that uh, egg sa loob ng egg nandun na yung uh, need nila kasi meron ng food source sa loob kaya nakaka-survive yung um, sisiw dun sa loob na yon So, similarly, uh, under all the powerful protective circle of a mother's care, a newborn child uh, meets all a variety of uh, requirements. So, dito na rin nila, dito na rin nila nasa-sense yung uh, omnipotence. Ito na yung ini-enjoy nila yung sense of omnipotence kasi um, gaya sa unhatched bird, yun, nasasatisfy yung needs nila kasi hindi na nila kailangang uh, mag-exert ng effort para mabigay yung pangangailangan nila kasi automatically, ibibigay ito ng uh, mother nila sa kanila. So, ito na yun, no? um, needs are cared for uh, automatically and without their having to expend any effort. So, yun yung sabi ko na their needs are provided effortlessly without the need for them to put uh, any work. So, sinabi rin ni Pak Muller na itong period na ito is a primary narcissism which infant is unaware of uh, any person. So, unlike daw kay Klein na nakikita ang um, newborn infant as a uh, scared or ano yung sabi niya, terrified, si Muller naman nakikita ang mga neonate as having a uh, relatively extend periods of sleeping and absence of stress. So, naisip, kaya naisip ni Muller na this is, this stage is an extreme primary narcissism, which is, ito na yung time na ang bata is wala pang kamalay-malay sa uh, anumang bagay. So, sinabi rin ni Muller na um, object less itong stage na to. So, as a result, she described a typical autism stage as a uh, oblec objectless period in which um, yung newborn is nagahunt ng mother's breast naturally. Kasi ba diba sinabi ni Klein sa sa theory niya na ang mga newborn daw is um newborn as assimilates the nice breast and the other items into their ego. Pero, ang um, sabi naman ni, ni reject ni, Cli ni Mahler and sinabi na um, ang newborn daw is um, hinahanap yung mother's breast naturally. So, para mas maintindihan natin itong normal autism stage or kumbaga sa madaling salita, ang normal autism stage is a time when an infant satisfy their needs within all the powerful protective orbit of the mother's care without them having a, uh, without them needs to have a effort. Hindi na nila kailangan mag-effort para makuha yung gusto nila kasi um, binibigay ito ng um, mother nila naturally. Yun na yung time ng um, normal autism stage. Then, um, punta tayo sa uh, normal symbiosis. So, this is, this last four to five weeks to four to five months. So, as a newborn become uh, aware of their inability to, greet, to meet their own needs, they begin to identify their primary caregiver, their mother, and seek a symbiotic connection with her. So, guys, sa pangalawang stage, ito na yung pangalawang stage na sinasabi. So, the infant uh, 
behaves as function as though he and, and his he or she and his mother were a uh, omnipotent system. Ito na yung sinasabi kong a dual unity within one common boundary. So nagkaisa silang dalawa. So kung eh, kung for example natin yung unhatch unhatch bird egg, ito na yung time na unti-unti nang uh, nagbe-break yung egg. Pero, ang infant or yung baby dun sa loob is still protected by a uh, psychological barrier na in a form of a symbiotic connection. Dito na lumalabas yung symbiotic connection ng uh, mag -ina. So, pero sabi ni Mother, hindi ito siya true symbiosis. Kasi ang sabi ni Mahler na at ang true symbiosis daw is a joint queuing a newborn and a mother. So, pero dito, um, ang infant need yung mama niya. Pero ang mama niya um, doesn't need the infant. Hindi kailangan ng mama niya ang infant. She can survive without the infant. But the infant can survive without, uh, without her mother. So, in this uh, in this stage, dito na nagsisimula yung a newborn transmits the hunger, discomfort, the pleasure, and the other signals sa mother. And then, si ma mother naman yung bahala kung paano siya mag-react sa signal na yun, such as... Uh, um, bibigyan niya ng pagkain, hahawakan niya, magsa-smile siya, yun. So, by that time or by that stage, uh, the baby can identify his or her mother's face and can sense whether she or he is happy or uh, or not. So, ay na nagkakaroon na dito ng um, relationship or ng connection. Um, hindi lang siya physical connection pero emotional connection kasi nararamdaman na rin ni baby yung nafe-feel ni mommy. So, sinabi rin ni Mahler sa stage na ito that um, mother and the other are still pre-object to the infants. So, pre-object pa lang daw yung mother and uh, ibang ibang tao sa mga infants. So, hindi pa dito nagsisimula yung object relations. So, kasi, di ba, kahit nga uh, matatandang bata, um, uh, occasionally, they will retreat to the stage seeking the strength and the safety that cared by uh, their mother's care. So, hinahanap pa rin nila. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung uh, normal symbiosis stage, ito na yun siya yung uh, time when infant behave as if they and their mother were all in a powerful, independent unit. And then the next one is um, the separation individuation. So, it is four to 5 months uh, to 36, 30 to 36 months. So, uh, in this stage, children become uh, psychologically separated from their mother. So, to achieve the sense of individuation and begin to develop their feelings of personal identity. So, they surrender delusions of omnipotence and face their uh, vulnerability to, e to external threats. So, um, in this stage, children must abandon their fantasy of uh, omnipotence, yung pagkakaisa nilang dalawa, and, their, and accept that, uh, uh, that there's a susceptibility to external threats since they are no longer sense a dual wellness, hindi na na, na sa sense yun. Yung nawawala na kasi yung sense of dual wellness, wala na yung fantasy nila sa na omnipotence sila. So, para mas maintindihan natin, um, we, this um, separation and individuation has four sub-stages. The first one is differentiation. It is from 5 months to 7 to uh, 10 months. It is about bodily breaking away from the mother-infant uh, symbiotic orbit. So, maikukumpara ang yung egg unhatched bird egg dito sa differentiation kasi sa part na ito is uh, nagbe-break na yung egg. Nahatch na siya. So, napansin din ni Mahler na um, uh, if ang mother is magsa-smile sa baby niya and then magre-respond yung baby niya is uh, sabi ni Mahler na magandang senyales daw ito na psychologically healthy yung baby. 
and nag imply na magkakaroon ito ng uh, magandang relationship sa iba pa. So, um, dinefine ni Mahler ang uh, psychologically health na baby is yung mga baby na willing kumilala or kumilatis ng ibang tao outside their home. Ganyan. Yung mga minsan nilang makita, willing sila na uh, makilala ito. And then, ang mga unhealthy child naman daw is yung mga takot sa strangers at uh, parang ayaw nila itong makita ganyan, laging umiiyak pag may makikita ang ibang tao or uh, mga bagong muka sa paligid nila So, based dito sa definition ni Muller ng psychologically healthy children parang may kilala akong um, dalawa merong healthy and meron namang unhealthy dito sa unhealthy dito sa unhealthy children parang uh, more than a year na siya sobra na siya isang taong gulang pero until now is um, hindi pa siya willing na kumilala ng bago if may nakikita siyang ibang tao sa paligid nila yung mga hindi kasapi ng pamilya, ganyan, umiiyak siya tinatawag yung daddy niya, yung mommy niya, yung ganun, and then meron din akong kilala na na psychologically healthy. Ito na yun siya, na willing kumilala, parang lagi na lang nakangiti, ganyan yung mga baby na psychologically healthy eh. Lagi nakangiti, ganyan, kapag may kapag may mga ibang tao, hindi sila umiiyak, ayan, bibo, bibo sila pag may mga ibang tao, ganon. Dito sa differentiation is magsa-start ng um, unti-unti na, unti-unti nang mawawala yung um, symbiotic relationship ng baby at ng mother. So the next one is a uh, practicing. It is about 7 to 10 months up to uh, 15 to 16 months. Ito na yung time na uh, children uh, easily distinguish their body from their mother's establish a specific bond with their mother and they begin to develop an autonomous ego. So sabi ni Muller, however, uh, they do not want to lose sight of their mother in early stages of this era. They follow her with her eyes and express ang express anguish when she is absent. Then later, they begin to wonder and take the sights and sounds of the outside world which they find interesting and thrilling. So, dito na part is pwede nang bitawan ni a mother yung baby niya. Pero, um, sabi dito sa early stage ng era na ito is kailangan nakikita pa rin ni baby si mommy niya. Dahil kung hindi, mararamdaman ninyo ang pait ng isang ape ng babing iniwan ng mami niya. Charot. Ng babing hindi makita ang mami niya. And then dito rin na stage, um, magkakaroon na ng um, interest yung baby sa outside world. Sa outside, um, simboy, uh, sa outside uh, sphere ng mother niya. So dito na rin yung mapapansin nila ang tunog ng mga hayop, tunog, lalo na tunog ng pusa aso, tunog ng mga ibon sa paligid yan, ang tunog ng ulan unti-unti na nilang napapansin ng mga ito at syempre, binibigyan nila ng interes the third one is our rapprochement it is 16 to 25 months of age ito na yung time na the desire to uh, bring their mother and themselves back to together both physically and psychologically. So, Mahler found that uh, the children of this age desire to tell their mother about their uh, new skills na natutunan nila, new uh, um, experience they have. Diba? Sa mga baby, ipakita nila na kaya na nila mag-throw ng ball. Sa mga baby, ipapakita nila na kaya na nilang mag-draw. Yan, magsulat-sulat ng um, call, uh, hahawakan nila yung color, then maguhit-guhit sila sa papel. Yan ang gusto nilang ipakita sa mami nila, ipapakita nila yung mga progress na napapansin nila sa sarili nila. Pero children are more physically distinct from their mothers now that they can walk with ease. Pero, um, pinapakita pa rin nila yung, um, um, anxiety kapag uh, napapadalas yung hindi napapadalas na hindi nila makita ang nanay nila or time na boring sila ganito kasi yan kapag uh, binigyan mo ng laruan lalaro yan na um, maglalaro yan siya and then pag na board hahanapin si mami binigyan ulit ni mami ng kahit anong laruan mababoard ulit hahanapin ulit si mami iiyak ganon so ganun na yun siya and then um Dito na rin nag, nag, ah, ano, na gusto nilang bumalik 
yung uh, parang dual unity nilang dalawa. Pero hindi na kasi kaya ng um, parang nagkakaroon na, unti-unti nang nagkakaroon ng sense of self itong si Baby. So, the last one is the libidinal object constancy. Ito na yung third year of life. Ito na yung time na na-develop ang constant inner representation of their mother so that they can tolerate being physically separated from her. So, in this stage, um, children will uh, continue to rely on their mother's physical presence for their own security if this is libidinal object constancy is not created. So, dito children uh, must stop their uh, uniqueness in addition to receiving some degree of uh, object constancy. Ito na yung they must learn to uh, function without their mother and to create other object associations. So, para mas maintindihan natin itong um, stage ng separation and individuation, sa madaling salita, it is a period during uh, which children is mentally detached from their mothers and achieve individuation or a feeling of self-identity. So, uh, the basis of Muller's theory is its fine description of psychological birth, which is based on her and her colleagues' real observations of uh, child-mother relations. Although many of her beliefs are founded on assumptions taken, taken from the behavior of preverbal infants, her ideas are easily transferable to adults. Any mistakes made during the first three year, years of life, the period of psychological birth could not uh, result in later aggression to a stage when a kid had not yet developed a sense of self and so had not yet developed a separation from the mother. And that's all. Once again, I am Mabel Galasa. Thank you for listening and have a good day.